Okay, we're here with uh, Todd Hollis from Elmwood Brimfield. This is Chalk Talk. We're gonna, Todd is going to give us a play. We're going to look at a play here, and he's going to kind of break that down and see what, what happens during this play. And this play was against Mercer County, yes. correct? Yes, yes. And when you, when you mentioned this play to me, you called it a... Um, it's a strike up the band strike play. Strike up the band yeah, play. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a reverse. Um, two guards pulling opposite the uh, action of the play. And it's definitely one of those that when it works, I mean, your, your fans think you're the greatest play caller in history and, and it looks beautiful. And when it doesn't work, it's really ugly. You're losing some yardage. So it really is some, one band is going to strike up and be really happy. Um, in this game, we got down big in the first half. Uh, one of those games that you're just incredibly proud of your kids that they came back and we scored 20 unanswered points there in the second half. Um, we had kind of a long yardage situation at this point. But if you watch, uh, especially from this end zone view, um, they were flowing really hard to our base play, which is a power play off the right, offensive right. And their backs were back, well, actually the entire team was flowing really hard to the right. And our, our running back had a pretty clear shot um, heading towards the end zone. Um, it was one of those, I have to give credit, uh, Brandon Butler, who's my, uh, often, he's their JV offensive uh, coach. He's the one that kind of chirped in my ear and said, man, now would be a good time to run 329. And, and I agreed. I mean, that was the right call at the right time. Um, I thought our kids, it was the first time that we had run it in a game. Okay. And to run it in a game in that key moment and execute it is, that, as a coach, that's great. That makes you feel great that your kids were prepared. And when you had to have a play and you ran a play like this, it's fairly intricate with some moving parts and the potential for it to go really wrong just by its nature. And they come out and execute it the way they did. That really makes you proud as a coach that – and to reinforce for them, hey, that time we put in, we may not run this play for games on end, mm -hmm. but when we need it, we know now that we have the ability to run it well. And when that works, tell me, tell me what's working. What 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 do you need to see ha happen on well, this play? Well, the the for that defense. The first thing is uh, it's a reverse, so the defense has to be flowing hard to the backfield action to our base play. So our, our wing, our, in this case, our left wing, um, is running his normal path on our normal power play, getting the, the pitch from the quarterback. And we have to have seen that the defense is cheating over. At the snap of the ball, they're flowing really hard. Because mm -hmm. um, if you have someone out on the edge that stays home, that's usually pretty problematic. Um, the other thing that has to happen is because you're pulling both guards, you have to be pretty sound inside that if a blitzing linebacker comes, um, a slanting lineman or something like that, we have to be very good with our technique to pick up those uh, specific um, issues that could happen internally because where that pulling guard is coming through, he has a free shot to where that pitch is happening in the backfield. Um, so it's really those two things, that you get the flow that you need and that you have good interior blocking. And the last thing is you have two guards that get out there in a hurry. And those two guards are leading the play. And right now, uh, Tyler Maritano and, and Sam Rushing get out there in a hurry. And Sam definitely gets the, the block on the deepest man. He gets a block on a cornerback or maybe even the safety here. And that's all we needed. You know, we needed a man on a man, a body on a body. And right here, he gets that body on the man. And that's what Zach uh, Marinzik needed to get in the end zone. So it really is a pretty intricate play. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some people look at the offense and think there's not much going on there because we're foot to foot and, and all those kind of things. But um, you'd be amazed at how detailed it has to be to be run well. Right. It's, it's a lot of little misdirection there and playing, uh, really selling those fakes. Yes, selling the, yes. And, and that's, you know, selling the fake. And, um, you know, even the backfield, you know, it's a toss to the running back and then he pitches it backwards. It's not a handoff. He pitches it backwards. There's mm -hmm. a lot. The ball's in the air a lot right. going away from the line of scrimmage. So there's right. a lot of bad things that could happen. But yeah. when they put it together well, it looks really good. Yep. And the reaction of the kids? Uh, uh, you know, in the moment was, I mean, we had to have that. And mm -hmm. we thought, you know, we were getting close to maybe making a comeback in that game. Mm -hmm. And we had to have that. And, yeah, there was a lot of excitement on the sidelines. Um, but at the same time, we were still down and we had to get back to work, so uh, we didn't have a lot of time to kind of rest on that. We, we got right back at it. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. You got it. Appreciate it. That's Chalk Talk with Todd Hollis from Elmwood Brimfield. Brimfield, thank you very much for coming out, and we'll see you next week.